I hope you enjoyed that lovely intro on my dancing. Absolutely on point there. Should go on Strictly. But today we have got Ronaldinho, mid icon, hence the her, hence the samba dance. We have got the absolute king, the skill king, mid icon Ronaldinho. One of the most fantastic players to have ever lived. The skills he performed, the goals he scored, absolutely ridiculous, wasn't it? And this card looks ridiculous as well. So, if you do enjoy today's play review, you know what to do. Smash the thumbs up button. And if you haven't around here, please do subscribe to the channel for more player reviews. Now, this team, I'm going to use him in. I'm going to play him as a two striker, probably to start with as that second striker next to Benzema. And then I'll probably drop him back as well and try him as I can. Just a bit of versatility for you because he does look like he can play both. He can play quite a number of roles across that attacking line if you wanted to. You could play him in a wing by the looks of his stats. But that's what we're here to find out. Now, if we go on into his card, he's got a high-low work rate, which is perfect for a striker. Right-footed, five-star skills and a four-star weak foot. But he does come with a massive price tag of 2.6 million coins. Now, I have already played five games with him, and he has scored nine goals and two assists, so that's an incredible record. Just giving you an insight into what he's going to do on the pitch. Now, looking at his stats, lads, his pace is decent. Night free acceleration, 89 sprint speed, nothing to grumble about there. Uh, this man did come with a hunter on him already, and I'm just going to leave that on him to see if that boost is shooting Cassidy up that little bit more. Because to be honest, I don't think his passing or dribbling need boosting, because um, they're pretty much really, really high anyway. Now he's shooting 85 attack positioning, 88 finishing, 84 shot power, 87 long shots, 80 volleys, and 88 penalties. Pretty decent. His passing stats, absolutely phenomenal, lads. Hence why you could play him out on the wing, because he's got 89 crossing and 90 vision, so he can whip the ball in for you. Um, as well as 88 short pass and 82 long pass. He's got 87 curve, but he does have the finesse shot trait, so when he's taking a shot, it's 99 curve. Now, his dribbling stats are pretty stacked, as we were made to expect with a Ronaldinho card. 92 agility, 86 balance, 91 reaction, 92 ball patrol, 93 dribbling, 92 composure coup. To add to the five star skills, he's gonna be phenomenal lads, I'm telling you. The head and accuracy, 51, pretty shit, but he has got good jumping at 84. Um, he's got 81 stamina, which isn't the greatest. Um, it does look like that's gonna be a con with a card, especially if you do play him at camp rather than striker. But his strength's good at 81 and his aggression of 68 is pretty good. And as I already said, he does have finesse shot trait and fleur trait. And there is his icon profile for you. This was when he did play for Paris Saint-Germain. And as you can see there in the background, my Messi shirt. The Messi who's just won his seventh Ballon d'Or. That is absolutely unreal. I've got to be honest, though, I do think Lewandowski deserved it, lads. I do. I do. I think Lewandowski has been robbed this year. And it... Definitely needed to go to someone else. But, uh, anyway, he's got more Ballon d'Ors than Ronaldo, hasn't he? So, we'll take it. But this review is all about Ronaldinho. He looks fantastic. Is he worth that massive price tag? Because he is going for a shit ton of coins on this game right now. Let's go on into the gameplay. So, here we go into match number one. And he's got three icons in his team. And what a lovely team at that. Fingers crossed, Ronaldinho, the man, the myth, the legend, my twin... He's going to get us some goals in this game. Oh, lovely run from Dino! What a goal! What a goal! Absolutely terrific. He's a top, top professional. As Harry Redknapp would say, that was amazing, lads. Absolutely amazing. The high-low work rates, the attack position in there for him to get into the right place with that amazing run. And he's got the pace to burn off the defender and to get a goal. And what a goal it was. Shame Benzema could not get to that one. Oh, Ronaldinho absolutely does him. But he is the post on this occasion with the volley. Ronaldinho 
effect, lads. Ronaldinho effect. We've got a rage quit in this one thanks to the two Ronaldinho goals. He was absolutely sensational in this first game. As you've seen, here's the difference. 2.5 million coins. Okay, here's a steep price. You're not only paying for the Ronaldinho name, the her, but you're paying for a quality, quality player. And that's exactly what he is on this game. Absolutely fantastic first game from him. He does come with a couple of cons, which we'll talk about later on in the video, but let's get on to the second game, lads. Match number two. Difficult scene. What a ball! Over to Benzema! Oh, it's the crossbar! But Ronaldinho was flying in there. Absolutely took the defender out. Oh, come on! Yes, referee. We get a well-deserved penalty because Ronaldinho ripped him in the arsehole. But if you know me, I am absolutely shit at pens. But Ronaldinho is not. God, again, nearly gets through. The man's lethal with the skills, I'm telling you. He makes you do skills. If you're not a skiller, you want to do skills when you have this man on the pitch, honestly. And he does them very, very well. Um, he comes out the skill moves very quickly, obviously, with his high agility and balance. And yeah, it's pretty fantastic. Can we get the one, two? Yes, we can! Get in, Ronaldinho. He's been knocking at the door. More times than a Jehovah's Witness in this game. And finally, he does get us the goal. Absolutely fantastic finish. Probably one, two. Can he show his pace? Yes, he can. He is honestly a joke, isn't he? He is absolute joke. This card is something else. He makes this game fun, lads. If there's one player on the game or in real life that's going to make a game fun, it's Ronaldinho. And by God, does he. Does he. So we finish this one 4-2. And guess what? Another rage quit. And guess what? A hat trick from Ronaldinho. I'll show you that penalty. For some reason, my gato absolutely fucked up on me. I went really, really cross-eyed when I did take the penalty. So I will show you the penalty goal right now because it was an absolute belter. And you already seen me miss one. But this one was good. The keeper went the same way, but I did green time it. And it flew into the back of the net. But honestly, what can I say about this man? The only con, and I'm serious, the only con with this card is his stamina. 81. It is a bit shit, lads. He is knackered at the end of the game. And if you are in foot champions, going into extra time and penalties, that is going to be a massive, massive con for you guys. Um, because you might have to take him off, honestly. He's that knackered. Um, and that doesn't matter where you play him. If you play him with strike, cam, left, mid, right, mid, wherever you want to play him, he's going to have the same problem. And realistically, that is the only con I do have with this card. He is absolutely phenomenal. Game changing, in fact. He makes you want to have fun on this game. He makes you want to do skills. He is a really, really good card, but he comes with a really, really big price tag, doesn't he? Um, but anyway, let's go on into the third and final game and see if we can actually get a full game in this review with Ronaldinho. So here we go into the third and final game. Fingers crossed we can have a full game in this one. And fingers crossed, Ronaldinho is going to show you yet again why he's worth the coins. Oh, what a ball. Can we get a goal? Oh, my God. The keeper sticks his hand out there. What a save that was. But, again, that was a great ball. And what a run from Ronaldinho. Superb. Superb. Oh, come on. He finds a space. But the defender does get a block in. But the pace there... Honestly, his run making is one of the best things about the card. Absolutely fantastic. As he nearly takes out the keeper though with his bloody teeth. Teeth first from Ronaldinho. 
could have been done for murder. But yeah, as I was saying, his run making is fantastic. He automatically makes the runs himself unless you do stuff like that. Like I've just done and Oh for God's sake, how have we not scored the getting unlucky here? Oh, lovely ball to Mo Salah. Can we get a goal? No, we can't. I didn't even think he was going to get the shot off there. But he does, but it flies over the bar because it was his weak foot. But again, Ronaldo doesn't just come with pace, doesn't just come with dribbling. He comes with goals, he comes with assists. He's quite well rounded in that respect. He can play pretty much anywhere across that front line. I'm playing him as a striker at the moment in a two-striker formation, and he's doing absolutely fantastic for me, as you've seen. The real only con I do have with the card, and I'm going to reiterate it yet again, is his stamina. It really is the only thing bad about this card. He feels fast. His positioning and run making is fantastic because of the work rate. Look at that yet again on the last defender. In and out, in and out, shake it all about. We do the hokey hokey and we get tackled. That's what it's all about. Very unlucky there. Oh, honestly, the close control is fantastic. Somehow we've still got it. Can we find the space with Ronaldinho? Look at the control, lads. Look at the control. Oh, we need to score from this. Come on. Come on, it's going to be. No way. Oh, he gets an assist, though. He gets an assist. We're back on level terms. And that was absolutely fantastic. The close control. Defenders couldn't get near him. And when they did, he won it back anyway. And gets a lovely assist for that. Well deserved. He should have caught a goal. But we'll take the assist. Oh, no! Oh, he's missed! Oh, God. That could have put us in front... I tried to cut inside on his right foot, but instead he took his finesse on his left foot and it did go wide. Oh, that should have been a goal though, to put us in front. So we end up drawing this third and final game of the player review 2-2. Ronaldinho got one goal and an assist in this game. I'll show you the goal because for some reason, I don't know what's happening tonight. I mean, Elgato's glitching out big time um, and it didn't record. That goal. So I'll give you a quick sneak peek at the goal. Yes, it was this one. And it was a bloody good goal at that. Look at this run. Absolutely superb. He did that all by himself. And he gets the goal at the end of it. And that is what he's so good at, lads. His run making is unreal. Unreal. Next level. His attack positioning with a high low work rate. Honestly, he makes so many runs. And I've never had a player like this, to be honest, on the game. Never had a player that just... I don't know, he's always there, making a chance, making a move. His dribbling's fantastic, as you see him in that goal. Um, he's just unreal. He can turn defenders inside out. He's perfect, lads. He, exactly how he plays in real life, he plays on the game. He'll change your team. He is good, but he does have a, a big con on the card, really, is his stamina of 81. Um, he does get knackered at the end of the game, and that is the only con I can really take away from it. But let's get on into my player summary of Ronaldinho. So my overall thoughts and opinions of this Ronaldinho card. Well, you probably all already know I think he's absolutely unreal. Nine games, 18 goals, three assists. He got in total for me and he was absolutely outstanding. Uh, the weak foot feels bloody fire style, lads, honestly. The high-low work rate is fantastic. He is the most game-changing player I've used on this game. I've used Mbappe, I've used base Cruyff, I've used base Ronaldo. This man changes everything for me. He was so, so good. But don't get me wrong, he's not perfect. And the big con, I, as I said many times in this review, is stamina. And stamina is pretty damn poor, lads. It is pretty damn poor. Now, his shooting category, yes, his shot pot was quite low. But honestly, didn't have a problem with it. Didn't have a problem with it. As you see him score from time and time again. Um, his shot power was absolutely fine. He blasted it in the back of the net. His passing, his dribbling, his pace, it speaks for itself, doesn't it? it? He was brilliant. I honestly, the only con I did have was his stamina. He was unbelievable. And for that reason, I've got to give him a 10, lads. 10 out of 10. He's by far the best player I've used so far in the game. Obviously, I've not used Eusebio, Hullet, Pele, people like that. But the players that I have used, this man absolutely smashes them out of the park. 
smashes Cruyff base icon out of the park, smashes Ronaldo base icon out of the park, smashes a lot of cards out of the park, and he is absolutely game changing. I hope you guys have enjoyed this play of you today. If you have, please give me a thumbs up, give the other a thumbs up. That will be very nice. And comment down below who you'd like to see reviewed in the next player review. And I'll catch you all next time.